Hey, Art Time. My name is Alyssa Hi, Strong. Hi, my name is Hunter Ben. My name is Jacob Marvin Enneberg. I'm a graphic designer slash printmaker. It's Chris Taniguchi. I'm an animator. A video editor, filmmaker, documentarian. Hey, my name is Becca Gourmet. I'm an actor. My name is Alana. Matt. My name is Nick Taniguchi. I am the drummer in the band Junior Sun. I write musical comedy. I'm a singer-songwriter, podcast maker, and general crafty person. Hi, I'm Haley McClintock. I'm the creator and host of Art Time with Haley McClintock. Uh, we're a growing collective of artists in Los Angeles who meet once a month, every month. I started Art Time uh, as just that, a place to do art, a time to do art every month. A lot of us call ourselves artists, but might not really have as much time to pursue art living and working in LA. You know, day jobs, side jobs, dream jobs even, uh, they don't really leave time for you to pursue your individual aspirations, your personal projects, collaborations, experiments. Um, so that's why I started Art Time and that's why I need your help to support it. Like I said, we're a collective, so we're all gonna get together right now and try to tell you a little more about the story of Art Time. Art Time started as this tiny little collection of friends down in Long Beach in Haley's original apartment. Where she would take out all the furniture <laughs> so that she could fit everyone. And Haley had this crazy idea all the way back then to bring together all of her friends who are artistically inclined just to hang out, share work, get cr criticism uh, once a month. We were barely fitting in there, so many of us. What we all were lacking was the kind of community that we were all used to having at school. Here in LA, there is the sense of community that's lost. Things don't feel, I don't know, organic. Things feel, in LA, things feel superficial. With our time, I feel, I feel happy. A sense of okayness and that, that my creativeness is beat. I've really been part of this second wave since it's been happening here in this house. I can tell from everything that I've heard and seen and seen all the art that it only has gotten bigger and better, obviously. I've seen it grow from a handful of people all crowded around a, a giant poster in a tiny apartment drinking wine and having fun to full-blown day-long art events with artist workshops and full bands. We can do things in multiple rooms of our house. We can do things outside. We've done dancing outside. Um, we've done screen printing demonstrations up in the attic. Um, so this space especially has been really, really fruitful for our time. You have this nice group of people who are willing to uh, whatever you want from it. If you just wanted to have it shown, they can see it. If you want like feedback, they can give it to. In design school, we were all designers critiquing each other's work, but we never really got outside perspective. It has given me a space to try out some of my new songs, some new material, and test them out, and also meet a ton of new people that I really don't think I would have met otherwise in Los Angeles. We had one of our first shows ever in our time, and it was a magnificent experience. We were surrounded by creative people who love music and art and really dug our stuff. I think people forget that creativity blossoms from interaction. Everybody is so talented. Everybody has some sort of creative skill that they can offer or share and everybody comes willing to learn new skills. There'll be things that you normally would not have access to, like, I don't know, being in a movie, making pasta, um, telling jokes, making poetry. All of these things are quite possible with our time. It's like the only event that happens every month that I get to see all my friends and do creative stuff. It helps me get out of my shell and collaborate with other people, and it makes art less daunting. It's something to look forward to. It's something that inspires me where I can be around artists, or I can share. There are times where I don't think I would have even made something that month if not for our time. It's an amazing space that has been created here by Haley and um, something that's so special and that really relies on the community and on the people who attend for it to keep going. Our time has been my baby since 2015. What started as an experiment really grew into a community. But it's time to face the music. In order for our time to continue to grow and thrive and be sustainable, the community has to support it. Every month I wonder, is this over? Is art time dead? But every month 
people show up and then it's amazing. Every art time is my favorite one yet. For over two years, I have self-funded every single event, even when I could barely afford it. But with only $5 a month from our patrons, we will know that art time will live. Thanks to our patrons, all of the basics will be covered. Art supplies, food, and hopefully you who made the investment. And if somehow you found this page because you know someone in this video or not at all, we want you to join the community. The only way art time can grow is with you. Becoming a patron can mean anything from attending the event every single month, attending just when you can, or supporting from afar, and receiving many tokens of appreciation from art timers. Becoming a patron means joining this community. Thank you for supporting. And uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. I love art time. I love it.